these are the payments that I received. I'm refreshing so that you guys can see that I am actually in my Gmail address. I have I have starred them so that you guys can see. So this one, this one, it shows you Pink Ocean LLP has sent you $7.90. The next one, it shows you that Pink Ocean LLP has sent you $8.10. And the one that I did last is shows that Pink Ocean LLP has sent you $6.80. And you can look at the transaction date if you would feel like. That's not a problem. Now let me go ahead and turn around the camera. Guys, this is real guys i've tried multiple ways of making money online since i've started reviewing apps for you and trust me this site is one of the very few sites that actually pay when they say they are going to pay so trust me it is real you can definitely try it out <laughs> hello guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Lika if you are new to my channel what I do on here is a lifestyle and productivity contents and since recently I have been trying out new websites that make money as well as apps so if that is something that you are interested in please go ahead and consider subscribing to my channel in my previous video about making money online I had reviewed the app Pico workers which is a website that you can perform Form small tasks for example like in a Facebook page or a YouTube video and you get paid now I did mention in that video that I will show you the second way that you can use speaker workers to make money online so please stick around to understand that as well now the app that we will be reviewing in this video is ring app yes i'm sorry to say ring app is only available for android users so if you are an iphone user i am so sorry but you can consider using a family member's phone or so to sign up for the app and use it if they are comfortable with you doing that so what exactly will you be doing on Pico Workers aside from answering incoming calls or making outgoing calls? What you can do is you can use their referral program. Now they have a really good referral program where you refer a friend or a family or whoever that you want to refer to their app and once a person signs up and use your referral code they will deposit the money into your account instantly now let me go ahead and go on the website to show you what exactly ring app is and how exactly will you get paid by using ring app so as you can see i am on the website this is what it looks like so it says additional earnings on calls and blocking spam blocking unwanted calls calls for reward and you can go ahead and get it on the play store or you can click the purple one beneath it and just download it right away from google chrome instead so let us speak about the spam part of this app so you can protect yourself from unwanted calls synchronize all spam numbers in the world i've done a few of that like the numbers that digital usually use to send you some messages about playing games and that kind of stuff i usually just send them to spam with this app so as you can see right there it says add annoying contacts to your spam Digital. So the second one is fraud. Now you can perform tasks which includes incoming and outgoing calls and those will get you paid as it says right here. Get rewards for completed tasks on your mobile phone balance. Now let me go and address that from the get go. So sometimes the app requires you to make an outgoing call. The only time that you should go ahead and do this is if the amount of money that the app will be paying you 
is significantly more than the amount of money that it will cost you to make the outgoing call and don't worry usually the call ends before the person even answers i've never experienced calling somebody with this app and they've answered never from the time that i've been using it okay so the next thing is what are payments made for no the minimal withdrawal amount is around one point one cent to five us dollars and this all depends on the country and the operator as in whether or not you use for example digital or flow and you can go ahead and check your country to see the minimal withdrawal limit for your country so for example let me go ahead and go to jamaica okay so the minimal withdrawal for uh, line number is 1000 and the first two times that I withdrew on this app I had to go over a thousand because I used a line number now for digital users they can withdraw from the time they reach $734 in the app and that is Jamaican dollars not USD but you can convert it to see it's like over five dollars anyway now let's move on to something else so how exactly do you get paid you get paid in us dollars as i had shown before and it is via paypal so if you have a paypal account once you register all you need to do is to type in your paypal address in the section where it says withdraw and once you reach the withdrawal limit you can just go ahead and click the withdraw button in the task section of the app you can also do a mobile recharge which is just tapping up your phone with the money instead of withdrawing it to your paypal now for those who don't have a paypal account what i will do is i will leave a link to paypal in the description box so that you can just go ahead click on it and sign up now the reason i will do this is because if you sign up through my link and you earn five to ten dollars and you decide to go and withdraw it or send it to somebody else or something you will get a five dollars bonus courtesy of paypal not me the best thing about this app is that it is available worldwide and if you are living in third world countries like myself then you will know how hard it is to find an app that actually gives attention to people from different countries other than the US, the UK, Germany and those kind of countries. So let's come down to the strategies that you can use to max results on Ring app and these are the strategies that I have tested and they have proven true. So the first one is through paid sign up. So when I was first using this app, the first thing I did, I tried paying people to sign up for the app, right? And the two apps that you can use to do with this are Pico Workers and Timebox. No, Timebox is exactly like Pico Workers. So if you don't have a Timebox account, by the way, I will also leave the link in the description box down below so that you can go ahead and sign up. Now, when you sign up to Timebox, what you want to select is advertise in this case where you'll be promoting an app on there and people will sign up for the app. So when you sign up for Timebox, what you will do is select advertise and then you will go ahead and start a campaign and just fill in the information for the campaign just like on pico workers now what i suggest you do is to go in the referral program list and check how much they are paying per country to know how to set your target when you are signing up a campaign because if it is a case that they are paying you for example 50 cents for a person from say ethiopia for example and you have to pay the person 70 cents to complete the task then you will be the one who is losing because you have to pay 20 cents extra for them to do the task than what you will be paid for them signing up for the task now the second method that i used to maximize this app was facebook referrals and 
by Facebook referrals, I mean going on Facebook and searching referral marketing or refer, referral groups or ref, refer for refer anything like that. And their Facebook will suggest a number of groups that are made on their app of people who all they do is refer people to certain apps and then once people sign up they get paid so you can definitely consider joining a few of those groups and making posts in the group and sending your link so that people can sign up all you need to do is just let them know that when they use the code they will get an incentive because that is the truth once they sign up with your code ring app will give them an incentive an invitation bonus rather and you will get a referral bonus so just a heads up when I was sending out my request for people to sign up for the app, I had already had proof that yes, the app paid because I had already done a paid sign up process to know exactly if this app is worth my time to be reviewed anyway. So what I did, I just took a screenshot of the payment that I got in my PayPal and to show them that yes, this app pays and then, you know, people will ask for info and I will just send them a DM. If they sign up, they sign up. If they don't, you just move on and continue promoting the app. Now the third option is to send the app to your family and friends. Send to everybody, your mother, your father, your great grandmother, every single buddy. No, I left this for last because this was my last resort. I waited until I got paid twice from the app before I recommended it to my family and my friends because yeah, I wanted proof. Now, on my way to my third payout, I recommended the app to my family and friends. Now, the reason I did that, as I said before, I just wanted to make certain that I was not recommending my family or my friends to something that just did not work. So altogether, I have made roughly $20 and something cents on the app just for using it. And what I had done initially is that I had started using it and then after getting my first two payouts, I had stopped for a little while due to some other issues that I encountered elsewhere, not in regards to the app, but then once I started using the app, I started promoting it again and then I started getting paid again.